you're gonna come with me in another day of my life while I do my nails. Brian is working right now and today is actually his last day of work. He'll be unemployed after this. <laughs> yes, I'm kind of wearing this formal shirt because I have a job interview in two hours. It will be for an online language teaching position. Who knows? I'm gonna try this out. For now, I'll do my nails, get ready, practice a little bit and then interview! Why am I vlogging before the interview? I felt like it. So it's one hour before the interview and I think I should eat something first. Also, I wanted to talk about the things I am excited to go back to Italy for. 10 things I'm excited to go back to Italy for. Thing number one, Primo Sale. I'm coming back, Primo Sale. I love cheese and I wasn't able to find good cheese in Japan for two years, so I'm like, Primo Sale, first thing. <laughs> stupid second thing well this is cheesy but spending Christmas with my family if you follow Brian on his brother channel you know that last year it was a little lonely in Japan we even made a video about it maybe I'll post the link below or up here somewhere I'm here ready my interview should start in like 15 minutes why am I nervous I shouldn't be I shouldn't be I'm confident to talk about something else, the third thing that I am happy about <laughs> this is stupid, but is the fact that when I go to the restaurant in Italy, I'll be able to understand what other people are saying, like people sitting at the table next to me. In Japan, I understand something, but in Italy, I can really understand what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, I am one of those people. I'm like eating and also taking part in your conversation if you're sitting next to me I might give you my opinion if you ask me I'm coming back people at the restaurant I think it went well I think it went really well I might not be unemployed very soon I feel so much better now you know what I would want? thing number four cheap gelato in Tokyo, you can find good gelato. I've tried good gelato, but a small cup, two flavors, was almost seven euros. <laughs> what? No, no. But I'm happy that I'm going back to Italy, because right now, some gelato. and number six are objects objects that I didn't have in Japan thing number five is that I have an oven again ovens are not common at all in Japan it's too bad because I love cooking with the oven thing number six is having a TV I mean TVs are popular in Japan <laughs> obviously I just didn't have one I'm not a TV girl but sometimes it's just nice to turn the TV on and turn your brain off Thing number seven, in Japan, if you sing on the street, you're weird. You're really weird. So instead of singing on the street, as I would normally do in Italy, here I am, karaoke time. It's all beat and all talk. It tells you a story and makes you want to dance. Steve Fox. Okay, you wanna hear some singing here? You wanna hear some singing here? Let's go for fun. Ah!
a verte de nuevo Soy el complemento rojo Susúrame en tu silencio Cuando me veas llegar Hoy voy a verte de nuevo Voy a alegrar tu tristeza Vamos a hacer una fiesta Pa' que este amor crezca más to go to Italy because I will know how to behave and what to bring to social events. For example, in Italy, if it's a dinner, you usually bring wine or pastries, right? Something like that. If it's a wedding, there's either like a wedding list or you buy a present. In Japan, it's different. Like sometimes if it's a dinner, people bring fruit. I would never think about like bringing two apples to my friend who's been cooking all day. For the weddings, there are no wedding lists or presents. There's just money. You need to buy the right envelope, write the right things in the envelope, put the right amount of money and the right amount of bills like stressful in Italy at least I am not socially awkward I know how to behave I know what to bring I know the culture that is easy okay I'm here with my friend Bon say something Bon something <laughs> Thank you, Bon. We're walking very fast. I don't know why to go to the restaurant. Oh. Apparently, this curry shop is really good. It's from Hokkaido. I love Hokkaido. For dinner, we went to this restaurant that served Hokkaido style soup curry. I liked the design. It was like Japanese but modern. Of course, you had to take off your shoes before entering your room. And also, yeah, you had to sit with your legs crossed. That was not the most comfortable thing, but I really enjoyed the dinner. It was actually like a surprise goodbye party. So Terry was there, Nina, Vaughn, Masa. We had a lot of fun. and. The curry was delicious i order vegetable curry with coconut they always serve it with rice it was delicious and the coconut touch oh my god after dinner we just took a stroll in idabashi we had a nice dessert in a fancy cafe on the water and then it was already time to go back to crowded shinjuku <laughs> Hey, unemployed Brian! <laughs> Thing number nine, I can't wait to spend more time with my dogs. Well, technically my dog. I used to have two, but my one was, of my dogs I died. That. That was sad. Yeah, I know. One of my dogs died a month ago. Not even. Bye, yeah. Chloe. Chloe's a nice ass dog. But I'm happy to spend time with my other dog. <laughs> We're home, we're tired. Let me end the vlog. Brian, just give me one thing you're happy to go back to Italy for. Being able to always understand the language so conveniently. I can speak Italian, my Japanese level ain't that good. Okay, you can go to sleep now, baby boy. I'm sleepy, guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, Come in. it's fine. Thank you for watching, guys. I know it's been a long day. Scrap the vlog. Scrap the vlog, we in here, bitch. Want it? No. Scrap the vlog, we in here, beep. Want it? <laughs> Better. Uh, alguien me pidió que hablar español porque quería escuchar el acento italiano en español y como a mí también me gustan los idiomas y me gustan los acentos pues ya no sé qué decir pero ya está